Uh, Stuff, you first heard Wes and Jay were coming to Denver from a MySpace ad. Were they what you expected when they showed up? Hey, my name's Stealth Olvang. <laughs> I met Wes and Jer via a MySpace ad. I, lived, I was living in Denver, Colorado at the time, playing uh, accordion in a band called Dovekins. We got this message from these two boys from New Jersey. They're like, hey, Denver, like we're coming to town and we're looking uh, to play with some people, so like prepare yourselves, maybe not. It did, there was like a joke among town because they messaged like 60 of our friends' bands and it was only myself and our buddy Abe Abraham that wrote back to them. I told them, oh, I can get you, we're, we're playing this house show coming up. And I asked Brandy, now Wes's wife, if this other band from New Jersey could play this show. And I described them as like, if Led Zeppelin were pirates. And Jer, he wore the pirate hat back then. That was back when he wore the tri-tip pirate hat. So, um, uh, they showed up at this gig, this house show, and they were like, where's the PA? And I was like, PA, what the hell are you guys talking about? We're playing acoustic. Like we had an upright bass. They had like an electric bass and ready to plug it in. So we were like, well, you guys gotta like think of your stuff or whatever. Our band will just play first, you guys play after us. And we tore the place apart. Somebody kicked a hole in an upright bass, ripped the curtains down. At one point we all were playing naked. And then we finished this amazing set and we're like, all right, Wes and Jerry, you guys are up. And their roommate who had learned bass that day to like play this gig with them, but they were like, it's our first gig in Denver, we gotta, gotta make a good impression. Their roommate was like, I'm out. He just left, he just left the room. And so they played the two of them, epic duo, uh, Wes and Jer, that had only recently been dubbed the Lumineers. Uh, that's the first night that I met them. And uh, the rest is history. Uh, oh, I ate a ton of uh, like maggots that were in these mushrooms that I found yesterday. Porcini mushrooms, we went porcini mushroom honey. But then when we cut them, we realized that a lot of them were filled with these worms. And uh, they were cooked, so it's fine. <laughs> Byron is a Labradoodle. Brandon, I would say a, uh, like a Mastiff, but a small Mastiff. Lauren is, uh, what? Yeah, I think actually an Afghan, that would, that would be great. Yeah, like an Afghan. Um, Wes is probably Golden Retriever mixed with um, maybe a Greyhound. And then Jeremiah, I would say Yellow Lab mix uh, Pitbull. But I always thought of myself more as a sheepdog because I'm always trying to like round people up and get really anxious if people are like splitting ways. Um, so I, I would say some kind of sheepdog. Just recently, somebody said, "You know, who you look like is uh, Seth Rogen," and then I gave him this look, and they're like, "Uh, but thinner, thinner," and they're probably right. So. I was like night shift at a coffee shop and then I ended up managing it, the Alley Cat in Fort Collins, Colorado. And, I, and then I worked at an ice cream shop in high school. And then I was a thief for a long time. Does that count? Do you think I would name myself this? Anyone who would name themselves stuff is no friend of mine. But, except for my mom. Such a cool Love you, mom. Starting the set with Sleep on the Floor, it just like gets you so into it. It reminds me of, did you ever see um, Save the Last Dance, where there's, uh, uh, Julia Stiles is learning to do the dance from that dude, and she's going like this. And I always feel like that at the beginning of Sleep on the Floor. So, you know? Pack yourself a toothbrush, Steve. Get yourself a, so what's the word? Yes, again, it's in a seat. Blouse. Uh, 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 uh,